Hey guys, this is Early Life TWD Episode 3 So Late Gaming. Always late. With these types of games, anyway. I never get the game on time, so. Starting back up. You remember where we are. Try to get some pills from the drugstore and talk to this lady. You're a pretty good chap. Oh, so it's, you're pretty. Well, you don't fuck yeah, with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you working on? Listen around with there. A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Bruh. I don't know how to do this. batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Are you serious? I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You ought to be slapped in the face. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step batteries? outside and have a look around? <laughs> well, not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, Not now. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Push me outside. I'll see you following. Jesus. It's all stumbling around. Who be a that? They just eat. As far as I can tell, I'm over here. Get you. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, well, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. What are we looking for? Look at the one trapped over there. <laughs> better hang on this. Oh, you see a black dude. They oh, like him. Shit. They put him down. What? Do you know that guy? Could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and they'll cheat up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. We ain't going out there, right? Alright. Be praise. I can't reach that brick. I found this room in the office. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. <laughs> How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So your uncle, you probably knew the owners of this place. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh... I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Alright, let's go back inside. 
safe here. I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Alright, let's go back inside. I'm tired of asking the question. What's everyone like in there? All we could do. Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Willie doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. I remember that being part of French language. Uh. Let's head back inside. Okay. It's like, alright, I'm tired of talking to you too. Goodness, everybody just stumbling around. Alright, so he watching, she doing whatever. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Gonna go over there and talk it up a little bit. Hey there. Hi. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. She is not What's interested. Okay. Alright, she ain't interested. The pills are in there. Alright, I found that. Hey, Tim. It's not damaged. Well, this place didn't get looted. Wait, can't buy nothing. The zombie apocalypse. I don't think that's complimented. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. That was hearts acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. From here. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Uh... Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more more of them i mean jesus we need to stick together and get through this what's wrong with him he's got a heart condition Obviously. he takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly i've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital yeah that's uh, not really an option right now i'm just trying to keep him relaxed he's got a temper ah oh, fuck you <laughs> yeah he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? She did. Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. 
I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. Well, I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. She heard that. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Quick low screen. We got through that door pretty fast. <sighs> oh, got to talk to this Hey, Lee. Hi. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? I'm in bed. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? They did. That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? No. They, uh own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Lee, you got a second? 
Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice and kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's that great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. I'm to get through here. Let's make some action happen. Give us some. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Take care of her. Yes, to take care of her. Alright, no. I want to leave. I want to get the heck out of here, so. I ain't talking to no one else. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Can I go out this door? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Ugh. Do I need to talk to you again? No, I'm not talking to you. Oh, there's a battery for the radio. Alright then. What's the radio, lady? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I heard he that. Oh, I got batteries now. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. There we go. Help this hey, out. darling. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey there. Yeah, you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Alright, here we go. We are heading outside. We're heading outside. Goodness, it took forever to talk to all those people with guilty conscience and everything. We're just walking out here in the yeah. dark. Get down. Bitten. 
I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. <laughs> Let me die. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm trying to be intense and epic. Am I like floating? What am I doing? Walking around. Why can't we just go like gently? Okay, this is the plan. You don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's for it So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, no one attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh man, she, she's easy. Did they get it down? So we got that one right there, close. There's one back there, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. Behind that door, those two seem to be on the scent. All right. Where to next? Behind the truck. Can we get behind the truck? I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. I'll cover you if you That's sneak over to the RV. I know, man. But you know, watch out. Oh my goodness. Let's just go. I'm making a break for it. We ain't going over there. We're a little naked out here. Except for Carly's gone and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Even if I had a weapon. You know what? I'm gonna end it right here. And we're gonna come out and come back because there ain't no way we're gonna do this. So, if you guys don't understand the contents of this video, you're gonna be peace.